Hi, this is Vanquished Angel, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be sort of a life hack, but it still applies to gaming and a Linux hack in general. And what it is, is we're symlinking. Now, I have already have another video on how to symlink. This is a video on its uses and what it has to do with gaming. Specifically, I'm going to show you using Wine because it's a little more complex. So, and, and the benefit of it is, um, is, a, is quite a bit actually. I'll discuss that more towards the end. So, the reason why. Well, I have two hard drives. As you can see, I have a main hard drive and a backup hard drive here. There's my backup. Now, um, there's two-way traffic when you're gaming. Um, you have your operating system doing stuff and it's running and you got the internet stuff and doing it and then you got the game loading and saving and running back and forth and if you're doing it all on one hard drive that's one avenue to travel and all the information has to go through that one avenue. If you have multiple hard drives you can actually make use of the second hard drive to speed up. And now Wine is coming a long way and it's oftentimes just as fast or faster than Windows on Windows native programs but a lot of times it's also still slower and a little bit more clunky. So this can help alleviate some of that problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sim link here. And in order to do this, now I use PCMan FM. You're going to have to find your own way to do it in your own file manager. But you're going to have to show hidden files. And there's a reason for that. And that's because Play on Linux as well as Wine, you put this dot dot so the file's hidden. Um, Wine does that too. So if you don't want to use Play on Linux but you want to use the same hack with just Wine, um, you are actually able to do that. I can't find my Wine folder. But I know it's there. Um, now I can't find my Play on Linux folder. Gosh darn it. There it is. Okay, so we're going to go into that dot dot folder, and it's usually in your home folder. Um, and this is the file you're going to want to copy. You can't really copy everything else because of the sheer amount of sim links and everything else in here um, that it's going to be problematic, and because it'll follow those sim links and then copy all that information, and it'll never stop. But this one has no sim links. It's just all the files that's needed. And so you're going to copy that. So you can just right click and copy and then you're going to go to your other hard drive and you see I already have this done. But then just and paste. Okay. So I'm going to exit out of there for now. And then we got to open that up again. There. And then once you're done, this can get deleted. It can get moved to the trash. Okay? Then we're going to create a sim link. Now you see I already have a sim link down here. So I renamed it for purposes just to show you how to do that. So that's going to be another tutorial. So I already got the command in here to do it. Um, so essentially, You're going to use I forgot what I was doing here. That sucks. So you're going to sim link the whole folder. So this is the location right here. On the second hard drive, you notice this kind of doesn't have any more. The rest of this is going to be what you're sim linking. In my case, I'm sim linking the folder. Now it's going to be the location that you're going to sim link it to. Okay. And the location is right here. So you're going to copy and paste this in to here. So that's the copy and paste of right there. Sorry, I'm kind of losing track of what I'm talking about. And then this is going into the command line. Right here. You should not need sudo to do this. So I'm going to hit enter. And you see how that showed up right there? 
that is the sim link to the other folder. And now when you go to run play on Linux, it will work, but it'll be working from the other hard drive. The uh, major, major, major benefit to that is that when you're gaming, all that other hard drive's resources are going towards just that game. You don't have to share it with the operating system or anything else. This is valuable with other games too. Now I just use this with uh, Play on Linux and the wine prefix. You can use this with regular wine too. Just make sure it's that wine prefix folder. And then, uh, as you see, this is an old dead sim link from another time. Um, you can do this, however, with many other things, not just that. So let's go to view, and I play um, Heroes of New Earth a lot. And there's its dot dot file. Now we can go in here, we can sim link this game folder much the same way. This is only that size. So, but you can still do that, and that game's resources, again, will run from the other hard drive. Um, and that's applicable with anything, any any video, program, game, whatever, that uses a lot of resources. If you want to dedicate it, just move it to another hard drive. All right, this is Vanquished Angel again, and thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you.